Now, the U.S. Congressional Budget Office says the so-called fiscal, fiscal cliff would spark another recession and cause a spike in the unemployment rate. Ed Butowski, who's the managing partner at Chapwood Capital Investment Management, joins us now from Dallas, Texas, with more on what potential impact this could have on U.S. markets. Hi, Ed. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hi. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, you know, well, today we heard from uh, House, uh, House Speaker Jim Boehner, John Boehner. Uh, he said that bringing tax revenues uh, could be on the table when it comes to negotiations in Congress. Do you believe that this indicates we might come to some kind of an agreement before we head over that fiscal cliff? Well, I, I think so. I mean, you know, John Boehner is a good man, and what he's basically did is came out and said, President Obama, let's talk. It's been 18 months since he sat down with us. We've got to fix this somehow. And everyone's talking about the fiscal cliff avoiding a recession. I will tell you right now, the world is in stagflation, and the United States needs to get its act together because we're the largest economy in the world. And even if we do resolve this fiscal cliff, I don't think a recession is avoidable because we are in such financial troubles here, too much spending, our economy is too slow. So yes, I think we're going to avoid the fiscal cliff because I think the minds are going to come together, but I still believe we're going into a recession, and I think 2013 is going to be a tough year. Okay, well, that's uh, some dour predictions there, Ed. Uh, usually yeah. we've seen that in, in the months leading you know, towards the end of the year, traditionally we see that we get a rally, sort of a Santa Claus rally. Do you believe that right. this year might be different and that history will not repeat itself? Well, it's, it's hard to tell. I mean, nobody knows for sure what's going to happen. And remember, the stock market moves based on technical indicators more so than, you know, a good fundamental analysis. I will say, fundamentally, stocks are 32% below where they should be. Based on expected earnings, and I know you know Wall Street real well, stocks right now are 12% undervalued based on where earnings are, and we should be 20% overvalued based on how low interest rates are. So stocks are poised to go higher. The question is, you know, are we going to see that rally or not? And I'm just not quite sure. Okay, yeah, because on the one hand, you're saying you predict a, a recession potentially uh, in 2013. Yep. On the other hand, you say stocks are undervalued right now. So how should an investor, an investor position himself right now? Well, the first thing they do is make sure they, have n they do not own any long-term interest rate sensitive bonds. That means government bonds or municipal bonds, because real soon we'll start to see rates rise. Even on the short end, we'll see that happen. Other than that, I would be buying into energy related stocks. Uh, I'd be looking at master limit partnerships. Utilities have taken a little bit of a hit right now. I'd go in and buy utility stocks. Uh, and, and even though we might see a dividend, uh, a tax on the dividend, still buy them. I think utilities are a great place to own, have dividend paying stocks, and do not shorten your investment time horizon. That's what investors do a lot of. And I'll throw one more investment out there that I think people should look at, and that is diamonds. Everybody is looking at investing in gold and silver and platinum, and diamonds basically have the same idea behind them being somewhat recession proof and will go up if we do see inflationary pressures. And I think that's what we're going to see right now. So those are some of the areas that I'd be investing in right now. Ed, I could certainly get into buying diamonds. Uh, you wouldn't need to sell me on that. Sure. Uh, but I want to talk more a uh, little bit about the fiscal cliff. Uh, if we do see that there's some raising in taxes and in tax revenue, uh, are we saying, though, that we expect the Bush tax cuts will expire? Do you think that that's going to be on the table, or, or is that a deal breaker? Yeah. I mean, I have, I have a lot of friends in Wall Street, um, a lot of friends in Washington. I think we're going to avoid it. Uh, at the same time, everyone's going to put a lot of discussion around that. And I, I, I will tell you, I don't think that is as important as getting our economy growing. I don't believe we're going to go over the fiscal cliff. I'm not completely sure that that's not a good idea to kind of get it done and over with. But I do believe that growth is going to be necessary. And nothing that's on the table right now is going to help our economy grow. You said earlier I sound like a little bit of a gloom and doomer. You know what? I think I'm very realistic. I'm just kind of calling it the way I see it. I've done this for almost 30 years. And I'm telling you, the world right now needs growth. And we need to do everything we can to stop this monetary policy of printing money all around the world and cut and have some austerity measures, reduce the burden, and get the economy going somehow. And I don't believe that these small measures okay. about the fiscal cliff is going to do it. Okay, Ed, uh, this is just the last question. So if you could keep it brief, that would sure. be great. Just so we're seeing a change Absolutely. transition in government uh, right now in China. Do you think that, that will have an impact at all on, on the equity markets here in the U.S.? I do, I do not. I think China is a, a great market. I think it's slowing because the world is slowing. But I don't think the change in power is going to do anything. Uh, and I think you're going to see a lot of money flowing into China real soon.
Thanks, Ed Bukowski, for joining us uh, today. That was Ed Bukowski, the managing partner at Chapwood Capital Investment Management uh, in 